Hello students, let us see this question here. Two identical discs of mass M and radius R are arranged as shown in the figure. If alpha is the angular acceleration of the lower disc and the ACM is the acceleration of center of mass of the lower disc, then the relation between uh, these three are asking. So, so let us solve this question. If you will see here, these two discs are identical. It is given in the question that is mass M and radius you can take as R. Alright. So, and there is a same string. So, the tension will act. So, in both the tension is acting same. Okay. And the and the distance of center from the tension is same. That is T into R. So, torque in both the discs will be same. And the I is also same. Since the disc is same, so the moment of inertia is also same. So the alpha will also be the same. Right. Why? Right. Once again I am saying the right the tension is same because the string is same. Right. The distance of tension force from the center for both the disc is same. So for both the disc, the torque due to tension would be same. So the torque is same. Now the moment of inertia is also same because the disc is same. So this implies torque is equal to I into alpha. So torque is same, I is same, so the alpha would also be same. So, for both the discs, the alpha will be same. So, due to, so, first disc, the upper disc, it will having the alpha in this direction. Okay, and the lower disc, the tension is acting in this way. So, it will have the alpha in this direction. Alright, and it will have the acceleration of center of mass must be in downward direction. Alright, because it will fall. Alright, now, if I take this point as A and this point, right, the contact point I am taking as B. So I can see here the acceleration of A do right. The A will get the acceleration from the disc because A is the point on the disc. So it will get the acceleration from the disc only due to rotation because the upper disc is having no translation. So acceleration of A will be equal to alpha into R. Okay, so this is the equation one. Now B is the point on the lower disc. But the lower disc is translating also and at the same time rotating also. So B will get the acceleration due to translation and rotation both. So, so acceleration of B, right. So downward direction I have taken positive. So because the acceleration A is having the acceleration in downward direction, so I have taken positive here. Now the acceleration of B. So due to translation, it will get in downward direction. So ACM. And due to rotation, it will get in upward direction. So that is minus alpha r. Okay. And that is equal to equation 2. All right. Now you can say the A and B are the points on the string. And the string is tight or the straight. So you can say like the acceleration of A must be equal to acceleration of B. If this is not the case, then the string will either break or it will get loose. Since, so since the string is tight here, so the acceleration of A must be equal to acceleration of B because A and B are also the points on the string. So I can say acceleration of A must be equal to acceleration of B because the string is tight. So from here I can say the alpha R is equal to acceleration of center of mass minus alpha R. So from here I can say 2 alpha R is equal to acceleration of center of mass. So this relation we are getting. So let us see which option is matching here. Option B. Acceleration of center of mass is equal to 2 alpha R. So option B is correct. Okay students, I hope you understood this question.